In this video, we're taking a look at yet another free Apple Audio Unit plugin here in GarageBand, this time the Low Shelf Filter. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And we're back here in GarageBand looking at another one of these free audio unit plugins by Apple. And this time we're looking at this one, the low shelf filter. Now this differs from the high shelf, the high pass and the low pass, which are all linked down in the description because I have videos about all of those. But for now, let's jump in and show you what a low shelf filter does and why you would use one. A quick refresher on how to add in these plugins. We tap on our mixer icon in the top left. It may be on the top right on a smaller iPhone. We then tap on plugins and EQ. We hit the edit button and then we hit one of the green plus buttons and then go over here to audio unit extensions. If we scroll down, we're going to see the low shelf filter. We tap on that one and that is now added to this bass track here in our project. Now what a low shelf filter does is instead of actually cutting completely or instead of raising up and then dropping back down the frequency, it creates a shelf at that frequency. So here in the plugin, we set the cutoff frequency and then we can either create a shelf below or above. So we're either reducing the gain at that frequency and then maintaining that gain right down to zero or we're increasing and once again adding a shelf. And if you look at this diagram from the Mac version, you'll see what we mean there. You can see it has that shelf, that straight line that just means at that frequency, it's going to either be lower or higher. Now to demonstrate this here in GarageBand, I've got a project which has four tracks, a bass track, some drums, and a couple of keyboard tracks here. Now the good thing about the low shelf filter is you can use it to either enhance the bass or to cut the bass. So I'm gonna show you both ways here because what we wanna do here is enhance the bass on our bass end tracks and maybe cut off some bass on our treble instruments to create some space and remove some of that muddiness from this track. So let's take a listen to what this track sounds like right now. So not bad, right? Uh, what we want to do though is let's see if we can enhance some of the bass frequencies with a low shelf filter. So here we've got our slap bass. Let's uh, just solo just this track and then we'll turn on the low shelf filter. If we come in here, what we want to do is find a frequency that we want to enhance. So let's just, we'll, uh, we'll put everything back to zero actually. We'll double tap and double tap. So it's going to start here at 80 hertz and zero dB. Let's hit play on just this track and I'll dial up this gain and you'll hear the difference it makes adding a shelf at 80 hertz. So you can hear it's really bringing out that frequency. So everything at 80 hertz or below is being accentuated. So we can bring that cutoff frequency up. So if we wanted it to be more like around 150, we could try something like this. And it's probably, I'm, I'm accentuating it there just so that you can hear it. So it's uh, it's not gonna sound great there, but what we wanna do is let's just drop this back to around about maybe a hundred Hertz and just give this a little gain boost, like maybe like eight dB, just adding a shelf in there so that when we play it, we're just getting a little bit of extra bass in there. Let's now do the same for these drums. So at the moment, the drums are sounding like this. And if we want sort of that low end, some of that kick drum to sort of kick through a little bit more, once again, we can go plus, we can go audio unit, and we can add a low shelf just to add a little bit of extra to that bass sound. So this time, yeah, we'll leave it around about that 80 hertz. And again, let's just drive this gain up and see what the sound will do. Can you hear and feel a bit of that? Because a lot of the low frequency is as much about feel as it is uh, the sound. So yeah, you can feel that there's a little bit more there. Again, we're going to go subtle. So we just want a little, little minor shelf there just to bring out the bass frequency. So there you go. That's what we can do with our bass instruments. What about our treble instruments? So let's take a listen to this keyboard that we have down here. We'll select the track, go to edit. We'll add, add, and scroll down, add a low shelf. And let's play it. We'll go in here. We'll play this first without any changes. Now, if we wanted more treble in this, yes, we could add a high shelf filter or we could add some sort of filtering or some sort of EQ at the top end. Or what I like to do sometimes is actually cut off some of the low end. So let's see what this sounds like if we actually reduce the gain and this time add a shelf under a certain frequency. In fact, we'll bring the frequency up a bit just so that you'll really hear the difference on this one. Let's try this now.
So you can hear there that as I bring that down, it's cutting off all of those lower frequencies. So it's really sort of thinning it out. And you won't always want an effect exactly like that. So in this case, again, we'll just be a bit subtle. We'll drop it down to maybe about 5 dB at that 180 hertz. Let's play it again. And if we turn it off, so it's just not quite as full, and that's going to be good, especially if we were going to layer this up with vocals or with guitars or something else. It keeps it more at that top end. So we'll turn that one back on. Let's look at this final instrument now, the electric piano. So without any filter applied, it's sounding like this. So a nice sound there, but again, if we wanted to create some space, we'll turn it on here, we'll go into the plugin, and then we'll find the frequency that we want to uh, add the shelf to. So this time, yeah, again, let's go right up to 200 hertz, and let's just cut off everything below 200 hertz. Or well, not cut it, but remember, shelve it. <laughs> let's hit play and play with this now. And again, we're just losing some of the fullness, which you won't always want, but sometimes you want to free up some space, we might want to do this. Again, we'll just bring it back to about, let's say, let's be a bit more aggressive with this one, about 15 dB on the shelf there under 200, and we'll hit done. Now let's bring all these back together and see what we've done to this sound and see what it is going to sound like with all of these low shelf plugins applied. So not bad, we've probably gone a bit overboard just to accentuate it and to show you what it sounded like. I think I've added too much bass and it's overpowering the song there a little bit. But that is going to show you the power of the low shelf filter that we can add bass in, we can remove bass and we can shelve it at any frequency from zero right through to 200 hertz and then adjust our gain accordingly. And you can do it very subtly and get some pretty good results if you've just got some muddiness down in the low end of your mix. Thanks for watching. There's two more plugins down below that you can check out. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.